In this video, we're gonna be looking for an unknown angle of an object launched at 10 meters per second that reaches a maximum height of three meters. Now, in order to solve this problem, um, basically all we need is one part of our initial triangle. So what I mean by that is if we take a look at our initial velocity right here, I'll go ahead and pull it off to the side. We have the hypotenuse, which is 10 meters per second, and we have some unknown angle theta. So if we either find the X component or the Y component of the object's velocity, um, then we can go ahead and find the angle by using a little bit of trig. Now, considering we have um, three meters, that is in the vertical direction. So we're actually gonna wanna find this over here because we don't have much to work with in the horizontal direction. So normally we would split up an X and Y column. It looks like we don't really need to do that for this particular one over here. So we have a uh, delta Y of three meters. We have an acceleration of negative 9.8 meters per second squared as usual. Um, and then we also have one additional number, which is the final velocity of zero, because as something rises, it has an instantaneous velocity of zero meters per second in the vertical direction at its peak, although it does still have some horizontal velocity. So now with those three numbers, let's go ahead and pick one of our formulas. We're definitely not gonna use this one because this is a constant velocity formula. Um, it looks like we're gonna have to use this formula right over here because that's the only one where we have the F, A, and delta Y to find an initial velocity. So let's go ahead and plug into that formula and see what we get. All right, so I plugged in my numbers. I found the product of these three, which is negative 58.8, added it to the other side, took the square root of both sides, and I got 7.66 meters per second for my VI. So remember, that's just the initial velocity in the vertical direction. So in, for this one over here, that's where my 7.66 meters per second would fit in. So now that we have two sides of our triangle, what we're gonna wanna do is use an inverse trig function and we're going to the opposite end for the 7.66 and then we're using the hypotenuse. So that would be the inverse of sine. So if you take the inverse of 7.66 over 10, that leaves us with our unknown angle that's gonna round off to 50.0 degrees. So to sum things up, um, when you're solving for a problem like this, like I said, you wanna find one of these pieces of your original triangle, um, either your horizontal or vertical component of your initial velocity. And because we're given a vertical value to work with, we're gonna work in the vertical direction and use that delta Y in combination with the acceleration due to gravity and that instantaneous velocity at the peak to plug in and get that 7.66 meters per second. From there, you'll end with some kind of inverse trig function to find that unknown theta. So I hope that was helpful to you. Thank you for watching and listening.